What's up guys? My name's Spencer and welcome back to Raw Fujication. And today I got another what I eat in a day video for you guys. So this is going to be what I eat in a day as a raw vegan uh, during the holidays, during the winter time. So hopefully that will give you a good idea of, of what a fruit based diet can look like in the winter time. Um, so let's see, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm having for breakfast. A few oranges to start the day. I like starting the day with you know, high water content fruit like oranges and melons and that sort of thing. So I'm going to have about seven oranges here. Uh, before I go work out with a friend, I'm going to go lift some weights. And then I got some later, some other stuff planned later in the day. Um, so I'll be back to show you guys what I'm doing the rest of the day. Hey, I made it to the gym. I'm going to do a quick shoulder, traps, and calves workout. And I've really enjoyed lifting weights recently. It's a nice change of pace from all the running and cycling that I've been doing recently. But I think after this workout, I may head home and maybe wash my car or something. And then I may go out for a bike ride just because it's so nice today. And, you know, I don't want to pass up this awesome weather while I'm out on break um, and have time to go out for a nice ride. Hey, so I got a nice workout in at the gym. I did some uh, uh, shoulders, traps, and calves. And actually, on the way home, I stopped by a local store to fill up a five gallon water jug um, here with some purified water. And you know, a lot of times we overlook water on our diet. And I mean, that's essentially more important than food, you know? I mean, first you need air, then water, and then food. So it's really important to, especially in, uh, in today's age with all the contaminants and metals and all sorts of things that are in our uh, drinking water it's so important to find a good source of clean purified water so I don't have a stream or uh, anything like that or a spring or anything like that nearby to fill up with like fresh water um, so I do rely on filtered water from stores and whatnot and eventually I want to buy like my own water distiller or water filtration system but that's not something I'm really uh, interested in right now but anyways I do recommend definitely look into where you can get yourself some purified water without fluoride without any of the contaminants and metals and all sorts of things that are in your drinking water your tap water and I go through about personally I go through about one five gallon jug a week and that'll be all my water for the entire week. Um, and keep in mind that I do get a lot of water from my, from the raw fruits that I eat. So yeah, that, that five gallon uh, jug will last me about a week. So I'm gonna go in and make a nice post-workout smoothie and I'll show you guys what I'm putting in that. I finished that smoothie and it was amazing. It was chocolatey, creamy from the um, hemp yogurt that I added. And I've been eating that pretty much after every workout just because, I mean, the protein is already pretty much like pre-digested for you. So especially after a workout, it's so nice for your body to have such easily absorbable protein and such like a high quality source, you know, such as like hemp protein, hemp seeds. So, I mean, I really think that's probably one of the the best um, protein supplements you can be using is like raw, culturized yogurt, um, homemade yogurt. So definitely try that out. But now I got to wash my car because I've been putting that off for way too long. So luckily it's pretty warm out today, so it won't be too cold. Cleaned 
up, check out how fresh and clean this looks. I'm about to go for a bike ride. I think I have uh, probably about an hour before it gets before sunset, so I'm gonna do about a 45 minute ride. Um, haven't been riding lately, so I'm really eager to get back out on the bike. I wanted to do a longer ride, but it's getting dark pretty soon, so maybe I can go out tomorrow or this weekend or something. So anyways, I'll hopefully get some. So I actually decided I'm gonna take my dad's bike for a ride. He actually got a new bike pretty recently, and I haven't gotten to take for a ride yet, so I get to ride. Right, guys I'm about 40 minutes into my ride about 10 miles down and I'm not gonna lie after honestly it's probably been about three weeks since I've ridden any distance seriously and this ride has been pretty tough um, that hill back there especially got me so yeah it's 40 minutes right now 10 miles I'm probably gonna head back um, just because it's getting pretty dark. That was a nice little ride to get back into it. So here we go, check out the setups. Here we go, nothing too serious, just trying to get back into it uh, softly, I guess, because I actually have leg day in the gym tomorrow, so not going too hard. Um, anyways, let's go get some dinner made. That was a great ride. I That was my first time riding a full carbon bike, and it is so much smoother. I mean, it's so nice just how smooth the ride is and I mean just climbing up hills it feels like it's just you know so much easier you just float right up the hills on that bike um, so I'm about to make a smoothie for dinner and let's see I'll show you what I got going in here I got ooh, what is that seven no sorry five bananas um, wild blueberries a big bag of kale I'm probably gonna use like four cups of kale and <clears throat> then I have four pitted dates. I actually took those on my ride with me, but I didn't end up needing them, so I just threw them in the smoothie. And then I think I'm gonna top it with these raisins here. Um, whatever I have left in there, just top it with those raisins. And yeah, I'll have a nice big green smoothie for dinner. I may also actually throw some cinnamon, cinnamon in there to spice it up. Also. Check out this amazing finished smoothie bowl here topped with raisins. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys this early Christmas present I bought myself. Life Changing Foods Medical Medium by Anthony William. I had seen a lot of great reviews about this, heard a lot of great things about the author and his previous book, so I decided to check it out. And it's really awesome so far. I mean, it has a ton of information. Um, I mean, on like tons of different herbs here, um, and then vegetables as well. And let's see, fruits also. Let's see, here are the fruits. Yep, all sorts of different fruits. I mean, it has conditions that it's good for, symptoms that it helps treat, emotional 
uh, effects of the food and spiritual lessons and effects of the food. And then it also has like a recipe and tips for each food. So I would definitely recommend this if you're interested in nutrition or, uh, you know, like natural health at all. Um, it seems like a great resource, great guide to help anybody um, heal themselves with food and, and that sort of thing. So let's see, I'm about to finish up this smoothie bowl here. Nice big bowl for dinner. And uh, let's see, it's about six o'clock now. I'm actually going to watch a movie with my brother and some friends later. So I may do some filming a little later, show you guys what I do the rest of the night. But if not, uh, I'll just go ahead and say thanks for watching the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And be sure to check out some of my other videos here on the channel. I got a lot of other what I eat in a day video videos as well as recipes if you're interested in that to see some of my favorite recipes that I've shared. Um, so I'll, I'll leave some of those links here. And like I said, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to leave me a, a like and a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And I'll see you later.